Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how you can join a Zoom meeting when you are the one being invited. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now let's say that you've been sent an email or you got a link from someone inviting you to join a Zoom meeting. Now how do you get started? Well, it's very simple. We're going to first of all open up that link. You can see here I was sent an email to join this Zoom meeting and there's a lot of information here that we will need. First of all, we have our link. Now that link, as soon as we click on it, is going to direct us to that Zoom meeting and it's going to give us some additional instructions. Now let's say that you already have Zoom installed as a program or as a piece of software. Well, then you can also use the meeting ID and the meeting password. But I'll tell you more about that later. First of all, let's click on that link. Now, as soon as I click on that link, it's going to open up the Zoom page. Now here it's asking me, do you want to open up Zoom? That's because I already have it installed on my computer. And so I can go ahead and click on open Zoom. However, if you do not have Zoom installed yet, you will be prompted to download the program. It's all going to happen automatically. You'll get the link, the program downloads and it installs. Now, depending on the system you're on, this could be Windows or Mac, it will download the correct piece of software. So there's very little for you to worry about. Now, if you are on a Chrome browser or if you are on a Chromebook, well, then we're going to have to use a different method, but I'll show you that in a minute. Let's go ahead and click on open Zoom. And there we go, it's automatically going to open up the Zoom software. Now, as soon as everything's loaded, it sends me to that meeting room. I'm going to join with computer audio and I am now waiting. Now you can see that the host of this meeting has not started this meeting yet, but while I'm here, I can make sure that everything works. So down at the bottom, I can either turn on or off my video. You can see I've got the video on now. I also have that virtual background on. And if you want more information about virtual backgrounds, well, then there's a video in the cards at the top. I'm going to turn off that video, but I can also double check all my settings here and make sure that the correct microphone is selected. While you're waiting for the meeting to start, you can also have a look at the other participants in the room and you will see them right there. Now it is possible that the host has set the meeting to have a password. Well, then you're going to need that information that was in the original email. You're going to have to put that password there and you'll be joining the room in no time. Now back to the beginning and let's say that you are on a Chrome browser or you are on a Chromebook. Well, then things are going to look a little bit different. We're going to have to open up a new tab. And imagine that I'm on my Chromebook now. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in join.zoom.us. Now, as soon as I enter, you'll see that the join page of Zoom is going to open up. Now, it does require a meeting ID. Now, if you remember in that email, we had two pieces of information there. We had the ID and the password. So let's go back to that email. I'm going to open up that email and we're going to copy the meeting ID. And then we're going to go to our join page. We're going to place that there and join. And we're now prompted to enter the meeting password. So let's go ahead and go to that email again and let's find the meeting password. Now it's important that you keep this password private because this is also your key into the meeting. So if you share this out, well then strangers can join that meeting as well. We're going to paste that password there. We're going to paste that password there. We're going to paste that password there and then we're going to put our name. So I'm going to put my name right here and I'm going to join. And there we go. We are now in the same room, the same meeting room, but we've joined from a browser. So no installs are required. I am going to join with the computer audio. I'm going to allow it to use my microphone. And here we go. We are now in our Zoom meeting. No installs required. And it's easy to do this by just using that meeting ID and the password. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, scroll down into that comment section below. Let me know, have you used Zoom? Do you like Zoom? What is it that you like about Zoom? Or are there any other pieces of software that you prefer over Zoom? I would love to hear about it in that comment section below. Once you've left the comments, scroll back up, make sure you hit subscribe, bell notification, so you can be notified of future videos. In the meantime, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.